So if you haven't heard, things are changing in SEO. If you want to rank your website higher, if you want to make more money online, you need to consider some things that maybe two years ago you didn't even have to think about. So for instance, AI. AI is here. The helpful content update from Google has kind of shaken things up. So in this video, we're going to talk about change. We're going to talk about what the big players in the space are doing about it and what you can do to make more money today and moving forward in 2023 and beyond. This video is relevant for affiliate marketers who make money by pushing people to say amazon.com or bassproshop.com those type of things for people that have niche websites informational websites where display ads is the driving force as well as local businesses and global businesses that actually sell a service this leads to point number one about topical relevance and what it matters and how it relates to the helpful content update i have people in the comments, they email me, they say, Jess, look, love your experiments. I think you're doing a great job, but what you do with informational websites is much, much different than affiliate websites and it will never work. And then the same goes for a local and global business. But here's the truth. Websites are just words on the screen. Google crawls them all the same. Yes, Google understands the intent, the intention behind a keyword search. Someone types into Google, I'm looking for the best plant for air purification in my room, right? Is that a purchase intent or is that an informational intent? There's two different things. I get that. But at the end of the day, websites are words on the screen and every website should be considered an informational website first. The goal of an informational website, a website that does this well, is to fulfill the needs of the search intent. Follow me on this. Someone types into Google a very specific thing. Our goal as website people of SEOs, whatever you want to call us, is to fulfill their needs. You are in the business of fulfilling the needs of the person on the other side of the keyboard. That's it. That's everything. That's the secret to SEO. I don't care if you're an affiliate website, a niche website, a global business. It's all the same. What is the person trying to get out of this keyword search? If you can figure that out, you've cracked the code. Furthermore, with topical relevance, topical authority, you need to build around that. Yes, their primary keyword intent is this, but what secondary questions might they have after they ask that initial question. Those are called supporting articles. We as SEOs, as people in this space, we make it more complicated than it needs to be. Just fulfill the needs of the clients that are in front of you, the people that you want to serve. Fulfill their needs like any other service business, and then you'll have success in this space over time. Now we're gonna go over a new SEO tool that you haven't seen. I guarantee you haven't seen this yet. No one has seen this yet. Um, this new feature. But before I do, I want to build out some more foundational knowledge. Let's go over trends right now in SEO. What's happening and what does it mean for us as content creators? So OpenAI has changed its plans and they say they're not going to train on customer data anymore. What does that mean? Well, people were pissed off at this guy, right? That's the CEO, big brain guy. They were saying, look, we're typing into your tool. Don't use that data to train the model. And guess what? They caved. They caved. So what does this mean? It kind of sets a precedent for privacy and data protection in the space now. Now Google's BARD is going to roll around. Microsoft has their thing. Are they going to train on the data that we input? Right? Do you put sensitive data in there about your company? You want to extrapolate things from you know data sets, sales figures? This stuff matters. And every time you put it into one of these tools, it takes it and it's theirs. But OpenAI, as we can see in this article, they said they're no longer going to do that, right? I don't know if they're going to rescind all the information they've grabbed the last couple months, but that's very interesting. And check out this one. Let's just summarize it, right? We're summarizing it right as we speak. Check this out. So we have an open letter, giant pause, a pause to AI experiments in open letter. Um, I'm using Harpa AI. If you don't have this tool, you got to check it out. Like super helpful. I use it every day, right? And I'm, I'm not affiliated with them, but it's, it's a good tool. So let's see what it says. The Future of Life Institute has published an open letter called for AI labs to pause training on AI systems more than um, more powerful than ChatGPT4. Because keep in mind, we're, I mean, the tool that we're creating is on ChatGPT 3.5 right now, and it's incredible. ChatGPT4 is here, and then 1.5 and 6 and whatever rolls out. Can you imagine? Um, it, it, the letter expresses concerns about the risks of human competitive AI systems. I mean, sure, right? The pause should be public, verifiable, include all key actors. 
Experts should use this pause to jointly develop and implement shared safety protocols. So are we seeing Skynet develop in front of us? Like, is this happening? Are people truly concerned Skynet, the Terminator stuff? Like, is what are we to do? So check this out. Now that we've gone over a few things, informational websites versus niche websites, it's all words on the screen, right? We have to serve the clients. It's some recent news, but let's look at this tool together. Here's the quick article workflow. You've seen this, the custom, but there's something new about it. There's something new. You saw it yesterday, or if you watched that video, go back and check it. Um, we're able to force headers into articles. Look here. So look at the difference. I'm going to click tab, right? They're different. The quick, if you're one person that just wants to put a keyword in and get a quick article, two, 3,000 words, that's awesome. Let's do it. If you want a custom article, if you want to dictate headers, keyword, and additional LSI keywords, this is your jam. This is what you want. Now, on top of that, let's, let's, let's go a little bit further and show you what we've done. So before we do this, I want to give a PSA. Look, if you're going to use this tool, you need an open AI token and it needs to be funded. That means there needs to be a payment method on file. These articles, they take 10 cents, maybe 20 cents per article, if that. But you need to have some sort of payment method on file with open AI, get an API key. You need to figure that out. If it doesn't work because of exceeded quota, if it says anything like that, that means you haven't put money behind the token mechanism. Now to start off with the tool, you need headers, right? How do you create headers? Look at this beautiful template I made for a plant care guide. It has everything in it. It has everything you might need in a care guide. We could probably refine it a bit, but people were asking me in the comments, how did you make this? Everyone's looking for a tool, an easy way to do this. It's not always easy. Sometimes you got to do hard work. Sometimes you got to put yourself in the shoes of the client. And the client, like I said earlier, is the person on the other side of the screen. So I'm going to take this. We're going to push it here. We're going to use it again um, and we're going to take out this top one. I think I have to take out this too. And we're going to say uh, Weepin Fig Care Guide. All right. If you want to learn, listen, if you want to learn more about how to create these templates, how to go about scaling a business, how to, how to be successful in SEO, I have a masterclass. All right. I have a masterclass. Check that out. But how we do this, keyword here, headers here, additional keywords here. These are the LSI keywords. What that means is it's going to pepper in different things, but what should we put? Let's do the best soil for indoor plants. We may have an article on the website that is called affiliate article, and we're going to give you the 10 best soils for indoor plants. And guess what? The website's an informational website and we have affiliate portions of it. It's all the same. It's all words on the screen, right? In the same manner, you can type in here different products right? Maybe we should do that example, different products here. And all of a sudden it spits out 10, 20, 30 different products in the reviews and the information on it. The one downside is ChatGPT doesn't have information up to date, but if you're doing products that are not new, then you're fine. Let's do Benjaminificus. Um, the best, we're just testing it out, right? This is still alpha. This is still alpha. So we haven't um, released this to the public yet. Uh, the best pots for indoor plants. Um, let's do that. So we have the keywords, we have the headers. Um, I'm going to make it a little smaller just for tokens sake and, and fastness style. Let's do conversational. Let's do article length and you can kind of see create and let's let it cook. So you may be asking yourself and rightfully so, okay, I've already seen this tool. What's the difference? So I'm about to show you the difference. And if you can wrap your head around the implications of it and how it's going to make your life easier, my life easier. Keep in mind, I made this tool for me initially um, because I wanted to create workflows internally that I can fast, fast, fast build articles that are good articles. Um, but check this out. Okay. The article is ready to go hundred percent, as you can see, and you scroll down and we have this wonderfully big article. And this isn't even like half of what it could have been. This thing spits out 5,000 words. Like it's no problem, but to the right, you'll see something new the keyword phrases. Okay. These coincide exactly verbatim for what you put up here, the LSIs. Furthermore, you can click on any of these and you can add URLs. So before you push it to your website, to WordPress, all you have to do is copy and paste a URL into here and it automatically updates throughout the article, every instance of that keyword, right? We dictate the headers. We dictate the LSIs. You get to pick and choose which keyword phrases you want to be hyperlinked out. That's for internal linking. It makes your lives so, so easy. And I'm sure there's other implications we're not even thinking of. Um, and we're going to make it better 
and better, please let me know. As you see this video, this is really important because we've built this in the community's eye, right? The first instance was available to the community. Please let me know what you think could improve or a question you might have, something I might not be seeing, right? And, and furthermore, if you haven't signed up for the newsletter, make sure you do, because if this gets released or when this gets released and what manner it gets released to the public, it's going to be via newsletter first. People who are in the masterclass are going to be the people who are the alpha testers, right? We're not ready for that yet, but if you're in the masterclass, you're an alpha tester. You'll have access to this tool for free forevermore, um, but the community at large will have a shot, uh, but join the newsletter, right? So quick article workflow, custom, right? It wipes out the information, so be careful there. But what you can do, headers, keywords, keyword phrases, inject your URL, and you're off to the races. Don't forget, websites are words on a screen. That's what they are. If you can provide succinct but comprehensive coverage of the user's intent, what they want to learn online, you're going to win, right? There's other things such as off-page SEO, templated, avoided landmines. I teach that in the masterclass, but it is fairly simple when you get down to it. So hope this video helped and I'll catch you on the next one.